For those who don't know Artur Koshenko, from 2007 to 2019, he was a top 10 contender in kickboxing in any weight class in which he was competing. From 2017 to the end of 2019, he was ranked number one in the welterweight division. For those who like a bit of fight math, in one of his most impressive victories, he stopped Alex Pereira. If the name Alex Pereira rings a bell, then it's probably because he's famous for knocking out Israel Adesanya, a name that has now become a major superstar in the West. So Kashenko is obviously a very high level fighter. To go through a brief chronology of Kashenko's career, he debuted in 2004 as 16. In 2006, he was given an opportunity to take part in the prestigious K1 Max promotion. He dominated the Eastern European qualifying tournament, finishing Marius Bozinskas with low kicks in the final match. In the 2007 Max tournament, he took a major step up in class, first beating Mike Zambidis in the quarterfinal. In his next match, he fought Masato Kobayashi, who is regarded by some as the number one kickboxer in the world. He ended up losing the match by KO. Kaishenko would show much improvement though returning the next year and making it to the final, where he would again face Masato, this time losing an overtime extension round. 2009 would not be a great year for Kaishenko, as he would lose to Andy Sower in the quarterfinal. In 2010, Kaishenko's form would slide further still, with him losing to Hinata Watanabe outside of K1, and the unfancied Mohamed Kamal in the round of 16 of the Max tournament. 2011 would be a better year for Koshenko, as he picked up wins over Yodsin Fairtex, Nicky Holskin and Andy Sauer. 2012 will be hit and miss. He would lose to Giorgio Petrosian, and with rumours they were struggling greatly to make the 70kg limit, he would make it to the final of the Max tournament, which now had a significantly depleted field. He would lose in the final to Martel Gronhart, only receiving a fraction of his purse from the promoters. With K1 now in financial turmoil, Kashenko would look to compete in other promotions. He would compete briefly in the Glory 77kg division, before finding a home of sorts in the Chinese Kunlun fight promotion. He would compete at 80kg, showing a new body type and reinventing his style. Critics of Kashenko have said that he has not faced the best competition in Kunlun, but the win over Pereira came in the promotion and he did rematch the 2012 Max Tournament champion and former Glory Worldweight champion Martel Gronhauer, beating him by decision in the rematch. To get into the style that has been used by Kashenko, there has been an evolution in his style from his K1 Max days to when he came into his prime going on a big winning streak in the Kunlun promotion. Although there can't be a precise moment in time pinpointed when he suddenly changed his style, Generally, when fighting earlier in his career, he used less footwork, opting to stand his ground in exchanges and put a lot of emphasis on checking leg kicks. In the later phase of Koshenko's career, he started to use extensive footwork, bouncing around between strikes and looking for an angle to attack. He would also use footwork to dodge attacks more frequently in the second part of his career rather than blocking. The obvious disadvantage of the bouncing style of footwork that was used by Koshenko more and more frequently as his career progressed is the issue of stamina. Koshenko has fought three times in one night previously in his early career where the more economical footwork style would be beneficial. In his later career, the most he fought is twice in one night where he won both fights by KO and occasionally he has fought five three minute round bouts. Whilst the bouncing style of footwork is commonly associated with lowly respected styles in the full contact martial arts scene such as taekwondo and karate point fighting, it has been used elsewhere in the kickboxing scene. Mike Zambidis used this style of movement extensively during his K1 Max career. Fang Bian has also used this footwork style extensively in kickboxing, most notably during his knockout win over Simon Marcus. In terms of international boxing, is commonly seen in amateur boxing, although is less commonly seen in 12 round professional boxing. Muhammad Ali mixed a bouncing style with a crisscross dance style of footwork, especially earlier in his career when he was a smaller heavyweight. Muay Thai legend Samat Pakarun also used this bouncing style of footwork more extensively 
when he crossed over from Muay Thai into international boxing. In the recent past, Oscar De La Hoya used it to outbox Felix Trinidad for the first nine rounds. Although he faded late, many felt that he did enough in the early rounds to win the decision. Sergio Martinez has also used it to become a dominant champion in his weight class and a top three pound for pound fighter. Outside of Floyd Mayweather, whose stamina is incredible, who else could even conceive of fighting in a style like this? I, I don't even think Floyd Mayweather could fight a style like this. This change in Koshenko's movement style cannot be considered the sole reason for its improvement. You may also have noticed he developed a significantly more muscular frame as he moved into the higher weight classes. It should also be noted that bouncing is not something that is necessary for using effective movement as many other high level fighters pivot and use angles without bouncing. His upper body movement was more limited in the early part of his career, generally only using it to lean back on high kicks. His head movement was more frequent in the second half of his career, although it would be fair to say footwork, blocking and parries still made up the main part of his defence. In terms of push kicks, the front kick was a weapon for Koshenko that he used in the early part of his career that is used less in the second half. Koshenko regularly used knees in the early part of his career. Due to his habit of blocking and standing his ground, he would regularly make it to the clinch where he would use them. Although Koshenko still used clinched knees in the second part of his career, he would also use them in a more dynamic way, often off one step. There are certain hallmarks of Koshenko's style that are ever present. He always possessed a good left roundhouse kick, and sweep with his left leg. Kaishenko has also always been an effective power roundhouse kicker with his right leg. He uses it to target the leg and is also effective at targeting the head. As a puncher, Kaishenko is generally an effective combination puncher as opposed to a single shot slugger. Aside from the standard combos, the double left hook is a combo Kaishenko makes use of that isn't in every fighter's arsenal. The left hook in general is Koshenko's favourite punch, delivering it with venom to the body or the head. Koshenko rarely mixes things up with spinning attacks. To wrap the video up, you might be able to find clips of Koshenko bouncing in his K1 Max days or standing his ground and clinching in the second half, but in general I think it's true to say there is an evolution in his style. Koshenko was obviously successful early in his career reaching the final of K1 Max, but personally I think he peaked in the second half. It's not necessarily a case of saying one style is better than the other, but refining your game and finding what moves work for you and your personality. Finally, if you have liked this video, then why not check out my Muay Thai footwork breakdown video.